Okay, so I know the lighting's been pretty shit in some of my videos, so uh, I taped off the window and I'm gonna attempt to change the bulbs to see how much extra light I can get in here. So this will be the before and I bought some LED floodlights, so we'll see what difference they make. So this is the kind I got. They're just normal ones from Canadian Tire, so uh, I went with like the brightest white I could get and we'll see what I can do. So that's the difference. It took a while to warm up. Um, it kind of looks all right in person, but I don't think the camera likes it much. Um, what we'll do is we'll get a bit closer shot of the engine and see how that works out. All right, it's not too bad, I guess. That was just one bulb, so I'll throw another one in and uh, I'll see what happens. Okay, well, I mean, the light looks nice if you're directly underneath it, but other than that, there's a lot of dark shadows, so I think I'm going to have to go with some uh, fluorescent tube lighting in here eventually. But for now, uh, if I do have a dark spot, I'm just going to set up this thing uh, for filming. Uh, I'll unbox it and I'll set it up and then we'll see the difference with that too. Okay, so I gave the bulbs time to heat up and it actually looks a lot better. Um, see if we can zoom in on the engine and stuff. It definitely looks a lot better in person. Um, so for the extra bit of video, I'll just set up the stand that I bought. Okay, so I have these two little lamps. They're both uh, 250 watts each. Um, if need be, I can just like uh, point them at the ground or at the ceiling and hopefully it doesn't make like a too bright spot on the whatever I'm working on for the camera to catch. So I'll hook them up and see what I can do with just the area that we're focused in right now. Okay, that's what I was talking about with it being like too much of a bright spot. So if I turn one off, it's kind of a bit better. Uh, still a bright spot. I can try and aim them at the roof. And I was just blinding my own eyes. And maybe one at the floor. And it, uh, yeah, it kind of fills it out. There's no uh, dark spots on the engine anymore. So that's what I'll do. If I have to, I'll uh, set this light up when I'm working on the engine and stuff so I can get it all. Um, all of this is probably just a temporary fix. Eventually I would like to get a fluorescent tube lighting on the roof since it's just uh, four little lights on the roof. I didn't have much to work with as you can see. Well you can't see. Okay so basically I'm uh, just waiting on a flywheel. Uh, I didn't purchase one yet. Um, then it can all go back together. I still have a couple months left. It's still only December, so. Um, I gotta take the injectors out. I wanna send them out for cleaning just uh, to be safe. Um, I also cracked the valve cover when I was tightening it down, so I have to take that off and get it welded. It's just a small little tiny crack on one of the ears. And uh, yeah, I don't really wanna put the turbo or anything on before I drop the engine in, just in case. Like, it'll give me a lot more room to work with inside the bay. And yeah, it's basically back together. I'm just waiting on the flywheel. I don't really want to reuse the old one. The camera I'm using is actually like an older camera. It, it still shoots like HD video and stuff, but it, it wasn't very expensive. It was kind of a budget camera. That's what I'm shooting with. It's not the best camera, but it definitely shoots high def. So I'll go ahead and take a picture of it because I can't film the camera while I'm filming with the camera. So I'll take a picture of it and I'll post it and you can see what I use. It's just really basic, so. Anybody who wants to start out making videos, you don't really need an expensive camera. 